Yo, what is up guys? This is episode 6 of Tutorials Under 7 Minutes. So, today we got a huge transformation, but it's a buzz cut once again. You know, coming from longer hair might be hard sometimes, especially if the client's hair is stubborn. But my recommendation for longer hairs, going into shorter hairs, is to wash it after you cut it short. So that's what I did. But here, take a look at the before super long he always does this every summer though so i know how his hair is going to react and then this is the after so huge transformation i did number five i did this cut about like five months ago but i still remember he does number five every time so yeah this is shorter than usual i got the seven minute thing down and cue the intro Run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Let's get started. So, I'm gonna go ahead and use my number five. And yeah, cut all of the top and a little bit on the sides. Remember, to save time, I don't have to do all of the bottom here too. And then I washed it real quick, and then now I'm doing the one and a half just in this area because I know that area is going to be the one and a half. Um, if you want to check out my tips and tricks on how to fade faster, it's down below the full video. There's 10 tips and tricks in there. But yeah, one and a half, and then after I'm using my clip rubber comb to set the shape. Big facts, you're the dicks. And then pretty much we're done with the upper half of the haircut. You just need to do the fade at the bottom now. And then we're pretty much done. That's why this video is pretty quick because there's not much steps into it. So yeah, I just did the lever open right below the one and a half. It's a high fade with no hook. So yeah, I started it just above the side walls, like the C cup, no C cup. Lever open and then right underneath it, I'm doing my lever close and then lever slightly open. It's just very quick guys. So. Just do the same as you would if you were fading up, but just reverse it. I like this method because it keeps me from going too high with my guidelines. I set where I want it, like, like the finish line is, so that I don't go over it. So you guys can see, uh, your boy shaved too because it was getting a little bit itchy. It's still locked down, today's Boxing Day. So let me know what you guys bought for Boxing Day. If you bought any barber tools or if you bought any anything you know my course is on sale still if you're still seeing this um, use code boxing day if you want to pick up my course so yeah if you want to invest in your education you know investment in here is never a bad uh, investment so yeah I pretty much bought it out the bottom with the shavers and yeah I connected the lever open into the one and a half with my 0.5 and I didn't use the one guard. That's why this tutorial is so fast because I don't have that many steps. That's pretty much why I can do these. I like, I know, I know I did this tutorial before but this transformation was just so good. He literally came in with like super long pompadour. I like doing pompadours as well but yeah summer he likes it short and then yeah line up and then a lot of detailing guys since i did my steps so fast i have so much time for detailing and i had time to wash his hair remember that's also part of the 10 tips and tricks is to work with clean hair because you, there's no guessing when you have clean hair you know which wears which way the hairs are going and all that but yeah more detailing i think i'm using the one guard now here and then yeah we're pretty much done i think that was only like four or five minutes yep that's the after still keeping that boxy shape because number five if you go like number two and then curve it in you start getting that four hawk look so i just kept it straight up and then that lined up pretty natural still didn't want to go too high you know and yeah hopefully y'all like that 
I managed to do it in like five minutes actually. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, like I mentioned, today is Boxing Day. Um, take advantage of this deal because I won't have it enough. I won't have it again until um, Black Friday. And I'm adding to my course every single week. So the value of my course is only going up. Right now, regular price is $297, but that's only because I only have 40 videos on there. Um, the curriculum has 70 plus so by the time i keep adding into it the value does keep going up and i'm selling it for more that's not me trying to sell stock or anything i'm just telling the truth um the value is going up so i have to sell it for more because you know that's just how life works but take advantage of this and hopefully i'll see you on the next episode and also check out the episodes uh previous to this one because this is the sixth episode see you on the seventh Shh.